For DS Simon's Vlog Views, I'm Mike Bagel with Calvin Stoll of DoSomething.org. Now, that's a recently uh, a new addition to the name. It was you know, Do Something, started by Andrew Shue of Melrose Place. How important is it to have the .org in there? Uh, we decided to transition to uh, kind of a digital presence because we knew that if we're trying to reach young people, you know, our job is to, to make young people do something. It made sense to be online, uh, so that's when we made the transition from just the kind of the do something which used to be housed in schools to do something.org, which is now our website is a portal for all content resources to take action around any cause that they care about. Now the the market and the the objective is to reach the youth audience, mm -hmm. kids, kids don't have a very big attention span. How, how do you get their attention? How do you keep them engaged to follow through on these initiatives and, and keep them active? Mm -hmm. So we, we call it a one second win at Do Something. Uh, so you, know, you used to talk about like 30 second wins, then it went down to like 10 seconds, now it's one second for a young person. So essentially it's crafting a kind of a really compelling story for every campaign or every action that we make uh, that grabs you long enough that you actually want to take part and then immediately giving you the steps and the resources that you need to actually make Make uh, an action happen, you know, with that campaign. When you're when you're doing social media campaigns, yeah. where have you found that your target audience is? A lot of people are talking about how uh, the youth audience has moved away, migrated mm -hmm. away from Facebook. Are you finding them still on Facebook, on Twitter? What what? How are you bringing your content to them? Yeah. So you know, a few years ago, Facebook was the place. Uh, it still is. I mean, the, the youth population there is, is larger than any other social network. But there's been a, a big swing towards kind of anonymous social networks like Kick and Snapchat. Um, so right now, we're developing strategies to go out to there. Also, Tumblr is a huge one, and that's largely anonymous. So kind of figuring out know, our, our message is we have to meet the kids where they are instead of asking them to meet us you know, where we are. So we always have to be on a platform using you know, the, the right messaging, the right content, the right assets to really connect with them, make them follow through, and actually do a campaign with us. And, and finally, finding those, those new platforms. Is that time consuming? Have you gone down paths yeah. that, that you wish that you didn't just because they've been so time consuming you thought that you, you were onto something and it turned out that you weren't? Yeah, so we always we always take a look at data. Data is super important for this kind of thing. So you know, take Pinterest or Google Plus for example. Our audience is teenagers. Uh, they're not really on Pinterest, and they're definitely not on Google Plus. So really, like drilling into analytics of who's using this platform. Is there a growth trend here? Twitter wasn't actually used by that many young people up until about a year ago. So figuring out what is the growth pattern here? Is there potential for there to be our audience there? And if it is, then we better build before they all get there because we, of course, want to have a decent footing by the time they all get there. But yeah, there's some platforms that we don't even waste our time with because we look at the demographics and go, no, 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 no.